<laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. It's Car and Driver Radio. Our show brought to you in part by Justice Brothers, America's brand for quality. Ed Justice also on Road and Track Speed Radio on a lot of these same radio stations. We're broadcasting today from SEMA, the Specialty Equipment Market Association trade show in Las Vegas. I'm Alan Taylor. Joining us right now from the show floor is from Cooper Tires, we have Chuck Yurkovich. He is the Vice President of Global Technology for Cooper Tires. Tires, boy, you know, somebody said to me the other day, what is going on at SEMA this year? What's going to be the big thing? And I don't know, it seems to me like tire technology is really getting wild out there because, you know, it's like what you're doing, it's not just a rubber thing that you put on the car anymore. I mean, it is major space age technology. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Alan, first of all, it's a pleasure to be with you here today. Thank you. Uh, this is a great privilege for me and, and happy to have a chance to talk to your viewers as well. Uh, tire technology is what it's all about. There's a lot of space age materials, a uh, lot of green technology that you're going to see at the show uh, over the next several days. And in the case of Cooper, we're not only talking green technology, we're talking uh, uh, technology that will help to save the lives of our military people. Wow. We're also talking uh, fuel efficiency, and we're going to be talking about uh, uh, technology associated with a new high-performance tire for the Roush Stage 3 Mustang. Nice. Well, Roush, one of our uh, sponsors over the years. Uh, let's talk about what you guys are doing with the military. That's intriguing. Okay. Uh, we have entered into a joint development agreement with a small company called Resilient Technologies. Uh, they are based in uh, Wausau, Wisconsin, and they are working on a uh, non-pneumatic tire configuration for the military. It's a tire that needs no air to inflate it. Like my forklift. Uh, pretty close to that. Solid rubber tire. Well, it's not solid. Uh, actually, it's got a, a honeycomb wheel structure okay, and okay. then a, a tread and belt package on top of that. Uh, literally, this thing will run at 75 miles an hour for an extended uh, distance after uh, an explosive event or, or people shoot at this thing, and uh, it will resist high-caliber gunshots and uh, keep running. Well, touche for that. Uh, thank a, it's you for exciting, that technology. Yeah. It's good our boys over there and, and ladies will be uh, protected from, uh, you know, sniper fire and what else is happening. Plus, I imagine that's going to work its way to the street, wouldn't you think? There's a lot of potential for that technology ultimately to work in a different platform. So, uh, anytime you can eliminate the need to inflate tires and need to maintain tires, you've got a better product. Excellent. So All right. Exciting area. You talked about uh, green, not the color green, but uh, environmentally friendly. Is that what you're saying when you yes, talk about it? Yes, that's right. Where are you going with that? Well, we, we uh, are working with what people normally consider to be a nuisance. Uh, the common dandelion uh, is traditionally something that you want to get out of your yard. You want to get rid of it. But it also can be a source of natural rubber substitute. And we're working along with uh, a group called Penra in Ohio involves uh, the Ohio Department of Agriculture and a number of universities and uh, Cooper Tire. And what we're doing is working to turn that into a source of natural rubber substitute wow. for the tire industry. So when you, when you tear the dandelion off and that little bit of white goo that comes out of it is like rubber, is what it's, you're it's a form of latex. Wow. And uh, if, you, if you raise the crop right, if you process it right, you have the potential to ultimately eliminate the need to, uh, to import a lot of materials from offshore in the United States. Uh, the ultimate goal is to replace about 30 to 40 percent of the natural rubber that's used in the U.S. with this kind of a crop. Wow. That's a beautiful thing. Again, it's space technology because who would have ever thought of dandelions and tires, right? Absolutely. Where does that come from? Talk <laughs> about uh, Cooper Tires. Where, what's the history behind Cooper? Well, Cooper Tires, a lot, lot, of, lot of history there. We're a strong, solid uh, American tire company. Uh, one of the two remaining American tire companies at this point, and uh, very, very aggressive. We're, we're relatively small. We're not one of the top three. Uh, we are in the top ten, and uh, we invest a lot in research and technology. We are very quick to respond to the market. Very typically, we'll come out with a replacement product sooner than the OE manufacturers can. We do specialize in the replacement industry, but we also go after unique types of business like the Roush Mustang business that we it's talk beautiful, about. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, for the military, for uh, performance-minded people like the Roush Mustang guys, and just, I think, for everyday tires, Cooper Tires. What about a website? Is it just cooper.com? www.coopertire.com. So, coopertire.com. All right, well, thank you, Chuck, for being with us. Thank you. We'll take another break from the show floor here at SEMA. This is Car and Driver Radio, taking you on the inside where unless you're in the auto industry, you're not allowed. We'll be right back.